It's Creed three that uh, you'll be directing. When do you think you're going to start that? Uh, probably before the end of the year. We would say like around like you know probably you know mid November or so uh, this year. So I'm uh, right after this one. I'm 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 in full prep mode. And did you have any idea when the first Creed came out? Like what a what a like phenomenon that it would become because it seems you know on the face of it yes it's another rocky but you know it had been a long time since there was a rocky did you have any idea that it was going to be this big thing or were you super excited about it personally no i was really excited about it you know you know the legend has it you know you know ryan you know he pitched me this movie before we even shot fruitville station our first movie together you know before we even shot one frame and you know it kind of gets speaks to our relationship because I was like, cool, let's do it. So we were pitching that movie while we were getting ready to shoot Fruitville. And uh, it all just kind of fell into fell into place. And, uh, no, you, you never really know it's going to be, you know, you know, as big or take take a life of its own um, as much as it, it actually did. But, you know, it was we were telling an honest story from a real place. You know, Ryan's. Uh, you know, connection with his with his father in, in these Rocky films were were were, were personal. You know, and, and if you know Ryan Coogler, you know he, he he's all heart. You know, uh, and, and and things that are grounded and really mean something to him. So, you know, I kind of you know adopted that you know that ambition and that spirit, and you know, building this character and you know, uh, you know, in, in that Creed world. I started to daydream and think about, you know, what a potential, you know, Creed two at that time would be. And then we knock out a Creed two, And then it's like, all right, you know, if I ever got the opportunity to step behind the camera, this is kind of where I want to see Adonis and his family go. And this is the story that I want to tell. And, you know, I'm blessed enough to be in that position to be able to do that now. 